Hey guys, let's look at lesson 45, which is range, median, mode, and mean. So we're going to kind of get away from algebra for a little while and look at some statistical uh, terms that we need to know. First off, uh, all of these deal with when you're looking at a bunch of numbers. Let's deal with them one at a time. Range, all you'll need to do is, and it's helpful a lot of times to arrange a set of numbers you have from least to greatest and look at them that way. You might be able to do it mentally, whatever is convenient for you. Um, the range is basically the, uh, the, you know, the difference between the smallest number and the largest number in a group. So the smallest number here is 4, the largest is 17, so the range would be 17 minus 4 or 13. The median is simply the number that if you were to arrange these order in, you know, least to greatest, that's the number in the middle. And statisticians use that number to tell them certain things. So let's actually do that. So we'll go four, and I'll knock that out. Here we got six next. Okay, that's gone. Then seven, and another seven, and an eight. We'll do that. Seven, seven, and eight. And okay, let's see here. We got nine, and another nine, two nines. And we got a ten, we got another ten. And we've got a 12 and we've got a 17. Okay, so 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10. There we go. Okay, so our median will be the number right in the middle. So if you go, there's five numbers on this side, five numbers on that side, then this is the mean. That's not going to be the same thing as, let's go over to mean next. Mean is just another word for average, the average. And they will say, some, sometimes they'll say, find the average, and then parentheses, and let's say a standardized test, will say something like, or the arithmetic mean. And then the word arithmetic is spelled exactly like the word arithmetic. So it's not the arithmetic mean, it's the arithmetic mean. Anyhow, that just means the average. We all know how to find the average, right? We just take, what, 11 numbers, add them all together, divide by 11, that's your mean, that's your average. Let's do this mentally. We have 10, 17, 24, 32, 41, 50, 60, 70, 82, and then 99. So we have 99, and we divide that by 11, and our mean, our average is nine. And that does happen to be also the same thing as the median. That doesn't always occur. I'm not sure what the percentages are, but it doesn't always occur at all. This is just the number in the middle here. That's the median. The average mean is this time the same as the median. The mode, look, the word mode looks like the word most. So you're just going to look at this and find out which one of these numbers occurs the most. Looks like there's, well, let's go down here. There's two sevens, two nines, two tens. So those three numbers tie. So those are all modes. One thing you should know is uh, if you do have a number, let's just say it's hit as a group of numbers, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let's just say that's your group of numbers. Well, and they ask you, okay, what's the median? Well, on this one, we had 11 numbers and odd numbers. So we could stick, uh, you know, the same amount on both sides and have a number in the middle. But if you look at this, I mean, you can't say, oh, there's the number in the middle because there isn't one. So what you do in this case is you just use the middle two numbers and you'll have the same number on the both sides. And uh, you'll take the actually the average of those two numbers in the middle. So in this case, the number right between four and five will just be 4.5, and that will be your median. Okay, I've even seen some uh, statistics material talk about you have two medians, four and five. So anyway, let's look at an example. A certain fast food restaurant receives a shipment of eight chickens and one cow. Their weights and pounds are two, three, two, two, three, two, four, three, and eight hundred. It's a big chicken. Find the range, median, mode, and the mean. Okay. Well, let's go with the range first. Obviously, let's go ahead and just line these things up. We got one, two, three, four twos. So two. Two, two, two. How many threes do we have? One, two, we got three threes. And we got one four. And we got an 800. Okay. Well, the range is going to be 800 minus two, or 798. That 
that's the range. The median, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers. So we're going to choose the fifth one, which will give us four numbers on both sides. So there is your median. Your median is three. The mode is the one that appears the most. So that looks like those are your twos. The mean, the arithmetic mean, or the average is what we're going to find out here. So let's add these all together. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 11, 14, and then 17, and then 21, and 800. So 821. And we will divide this by 9, because that's how many numbers there are. So 9 into 82 is 9. 1 left over. That's going to go once. 1 times 9 is 9. And that's going to be 91.2 will be, uh, that is our average weight, of course, the one chicken, oh, the large one, drags that uh, average weight up quite a bit. Okay, let's take another one. Mean old math teacher gave a quiz to some poor, innocent students. The scores were as follows, and there they are, okay? So uh, let's find everything again. Uh, Let's find the mean, median, mode, and range. So we have 60, 66. Oh, what's next? 78. That's another one. Let's see. We got uh, 83 and 85. And how about 86? 93 and 95. I always check mine to make sure I have the same number. There we go, it's 8. So first let's find the range. Well, we have 95 minus 60, so the range will be 35. All right, the median, what's well, going to be the number in the middle, where there aren't, aren't any numbers in the middle. So there we go. That's Those are our two numbers in the middle. Obviously, the number right between 83 and 85 is going to be 84. There's your median. Okay. The mode, really there is no mode. There's nothing that appears the most. We don't really have a mode, a specific one. The average, of course, all we need to do is add all, all eight of these and, add, and uh, you know divide by eight. We won't bother to do that. You can do the arithmetic on that. So um, what do you suppose, look, look at those numbers. So what do you suppose about the average is? I mean, there's not too, there's, a lot of these are 80s and 90s. 170 something and a couple of 60 somethings. Probably the average I would say would be somewhere in the 80s. You've got a couple of low scores, you know, like in the 60s that kind of bring that down a little bit. But we also have a lot of, you know, a number of 80s, high 80s, even and a 90, a couple of 90 something. So I would say the average will be closer to 80 something. Okay. Um, let's say this is the second type of question you're getting in, in this kind of lesson. The mean of five numbers is 10. Visualize that for a second. Can you picture that? You have five numbers and their average or mean is 10. Four of the numbers are two, eight, 11, and 14. What's the fifth number? So what you should do is you, should, you could even kind of visualize this and go, okay, there's five numbers, here they are. Okay, all right. If you were to put them on some scale and weigh them, right? They average, a 10. Now we doesn't tell us what these numbers are, but if they're each one of these numbers is an average of 10, how much does how much weight, let's say they're pounds, how much how much weight is on that scale if each one of those five numbers averages 10? I mean, yeah, I mean the answer is gonna be five times ten. You're gonna have fifty pounds on this scale. You know, but it doesn't doesn't really tell you anything. One of these could be, you know. 46 and the other could be 1, 1, 1, and 1. That's still four ones, which is 4 plus 46 gives you 50. It doesn't tell you anything about the numbers other than their average is 10. So there could be five tens. We don't know. But we do know that if we have five numbers and their average is 10, there's going to be 50 pounds on that weight. And that's how you attack these problems. So they tell you four of the numbers are 2, 8, 11, and 14. Find the fifth number. Well, we already know the total of all the numbers is 50. So we are going to subtract the total of the other four numbers to find the fifth number. So we have 2 and 8, that's 10, 21, and that'll be 14, be 35. Okay, so that the fifth number is going to be 15. Okay. All right, 
the Sutra practice set. So pause it, and there are three questions, and I'll, I'll tell you the answers as you finish. So go ahead and do A and pause it. Okay, A, the range is 9. The median is 7.75. You might have put 7 and 3 quarters if you did it that way. The mode is 9, and the mean is 8.5. All right, go ahead and pause it, and we'll do B. Okay, B, your range is 30. That's the lowest to the highest difference. Median is 81. That's the one right in the middle. The mode is also 81. The mean is 81.6 if you do the division. Okay. All right, let's do C. Go ahead and pause it and do C, the last problem. Okay, C, and the number you're missing is 19 because all of them together, the difference is 19 from the total. So, okay. That does it for that one. Thanks, guys.